Yep, what's going on, good people? Welcome back to Cook It Up with Chris. I'm Chris. So today, we in the kitchen experiment. So, I would prefer some panini and rotini pasta, but I got some elbow. Better that than spaghetti. So I got me some elbow noodles over here boiling. I got me some grilled corn from yesterday that I'm going to use in this. And I got me some olives some Parmesan, and some butter. So let's get started with this simple stuff. All right, so this is not gonna be a complicated meal. It's gonna be really simple as a matter of fact, because with this meal, what you see here is what you get. These are gonna be all the ingredients other than our pasta. And so what I'm gonna start with I'm going to turn the heat on on this pan first. Then I'm going to drop a half a stick of butter over in there. Boom. And you won't even be needing any salt for this meal because we're going to use some of the brine from this uh, these olives. So, we're going to start with our corn. And we're just going to cut it off the cob. I'm using three kernels here. So it kernels, three cobs. And like I said, this is grilled corn from yesterday. So it's good when you have leftover things, experiment, find out what new you can make. So I'm gonna get the rest of these, uh, it's not really shook, but I'm gonna get the rest of them cut off and then we'll come back. All right, so we got our corn. I only use two cobs of corn and cut those, all the kernels off. And now I'm gonna go down. This is a six ounce jar of uh, olives. I'm probably gonna use half of this jar. And all I'm gonna do, we're gonna dig out about half of them. We're gonna cut them in half. And then they're gonna go in to the skillet with the corn. Like I said, I got the butter melting already. going to add the juice, about half the juice from the uh, olives. So it's going to be a briny pasta. So be ready for that flavor. Alright, so about three ounces of olives. And like I said, we're just going to cut these babies in half. Once I get that done, we'll come back. And hey, you're in your kitchen. Eat up. All right. And we're taking our corn and olives. Make sure they separate right over into that butter and olive juice. And we're just going to let these cook together for all of two minutes. Get to know your buddies. Y'all gonna be eating together. Not eating, but eating. Huh. All right, now that, all right, now that these olives and corn got a nice little simmer going on together. No, I'm not using fresh Parmesan, but we're gonna go in with about a cup, two cups of uh, Parmesan cheese. And some pepper. We're going to let that get happy together. Now, you see it has come together. And so we're just going to take a cup of pasta water right over there. Loosen that up. Don't need the pasta, just the water. Got us a little creamy corn and olive sauce, and of course, these are pimento stuffed olives, so a little pimentos in there too. So, we're gonna let this baby get together and just marry together for about two or three minutes, just today, good and acquainted. 
And I forgot, when you're adding your cheese, make sure your pan is on the low, because if it's on high, then your cheese is going to start to curdle and ball up into a ball. Trust me. I just forgot about it, and I got this. <laughs> so I re-added some, and now I'm going to get these noodles over in here. All right, so after I got the glob out, I only put uh, one cup of cheese over in it. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this other half a cup to a cup in and mix that on throughout. And yeah, I lost like a quarter of my ingredients with that glob. But the search for a new dish continues. Let's get that mixed through. I'm going to add this little quarter cup of uh, pasta water. And let's see what we're talking about. Let's see. Some olive. Try to get some corn. My olive though. wasn't a failure but I wouldn't call it a success I mean I'm gonna eat it for dinner because I just cooked it. I'm not gonna waste this food if I went to an all pasta restaurant and there was something like this on the menu I would understand and be okay with it but if your restaurant didn't serve pasta only or specialized in pasta and you had this as a side or main dish you'd be in trouble but I'm gonna eat it tonight so y'all try it enjoy it if you want to <laughs> See y'all later. See, cooking is not always about the success. It's about the trials and error too. So get in the kitchen and try something.